While appearing in one of the largest films in the world, Paul Mescal is eyeing a far more private role. In 2025, the Irish actor, whose movie Gladiator 2 opens next week, will return to Broadway for his critically praised role as Stanley Kowalski in A Streetcar Named Desire. The Oscar-nominated actor will be making his theatrical debut in America. He earned the coveted Olivier Award for Finest Actor for the character he played in London's West End last year. His performance was hailed by critics for giving the character a new swagger and escaping the towering shadow cast by Marlon Brando, who initially popularized the part on stage and television. The 28-year-old, who became well-known as Connell Waldron in the BBC's blockbuster smash hit Normal People, is excited to take the stage again in New York, according to industry sources. According to one source, Paul adores the art of theater. Despite his notoriety, he has a close-knit circle of friends and is actually rather introverted. Broadway truly appeals to him since he feels more comfortable performing on stage than in front of the camera. He holds a particular place in his heart for streetcar. He is eager to showcase his skills to viewers in the United States. Whether Patsy Ferran, his former co-star, will return to her role as Blanche has not been confirmed. Paul Sr., Mescal's father, just made his acting debut in the new play Are You Dancing? A show band story as a disgruntled bar owner named Simi McDade. The actor from All of Us Strangers has previously expressed how comfortable he is performing on stage. I feel at ease with my masculinity on stage. In an interview with the Times this week, he made a suggestion that if the popularity from Gladiator 2 becomes too much for him, he should look into art house theater employment. Mescal claimed to have changed his body so drastically for his Gladiator 2 role that he believed he could inflict real damage. It changes the way you move and operate, he remarked. And when it's pretend, that's a fantastic kind of place to live. The actor portrays the son of the renowned Maximus played by Russell Crowe in the most recent Ridley Scott film. The film's furious Lucius, Paul, who was dragged into slavery and torn away from his wife and daughter by General Marcus, Pedro Pascal, must battle for his freedom even though the character is long dead and buried. Lucius, the son of Connie Nielsen's Lucilla, is now residing in Numidia, a region of northern Africa, in Gladiator 2, which is set several decades after the previous installment. The movie centers on Lucius' return to Rome to make amends with his mother, despite the fact that he was sent to Numidia as a youngster. Fans have complimented Paul's portrayal, and the film, which took 20 years to make, has been well-received by critics. However, the celebrity acknowledged on The Graham Norton Show that he had to put in a lot of preparation to play such a legendary part. Paul informed Graham about the routine that made him a Roman hunk. I lifted heavy things and ate a lot of chicken. There is a canvas to work with, stated the trainer I was working with, circling me like a shark. Before disclosing that he didn't fully adhere to the rigid conditions, he said, he went to town and I saw him every day. It was fun.